Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Factorio Space Exploration. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me again. I have added some more miners to our iron here. This patch is almost entirely tapped out at this point, and I did a four-lane balancer. Um, we're only feeding four lines in and two out, or three lines in, sorry, and two out. Um, but it still it still works to help balance things. You can see these belts are pretty much balanced. Um, which should help get us a little more uh, evenly distributed iron. I added a bit more power. Um, I added a few more miners to this guy, um, but actually the issue was not a lack of miners, it was the side loading on the yellow belt not being enough, so I've made this whole thing red belt to get it all the way to the end. Um, and then, uh, also, we I didn't get a chance to build another steel smelter, which we do need, um, but we'll work on that next time, or I'll do it off camera. Uh, and then I also brought the sulfur line all the way down uh, and merge it in. It comes down here by the plastic and comes over uh, and is merged in with the steel. So we have heat plating. You guys corrected my math. I knew I was wrong. I just didn't feel like trying to remath it out on camera. Um, but you guys uh, basically said it's about like 0.75 or 0.6 furnaces a second that we need um, rather than like whatever crazy number I said. Um, so really, we don't actually need as many of these as I thought. We don't even need two a second um i'm so i'm way over producing these but that's okay um because we'll expand in the future anyway um and the steel's not going to support this to begin with uh but what we need to do today is work on the other stuff for purple science as much as we can get done so i'm going to work on the rails right now because yeah <laughs> uh the furnaces are actually going to be a pretty intensive process because everything um, due to AI industry requires the previous level of the thing. So we're going to have to automate stone furnaces, steel furnaces, and then electric furnaces um, to get those all feeding into each other, kind of like how inserters and belts work. Um, so we're going to work on rails. Uh, let's see if I can map this out correctly. So 30 rails. Uh, let's see here. If we are making one of these a second uh let's see yeah see i'm my math is wrong here maybe we should just place a bunch a bunch of rails um we have seven assemblers at one a second two a second would be 14 assemblers each one consuming 30 rail or 20 so i'm gonna say i don't know probably close to I don't know. We're just going to throw down a bunch of assemblers. I can't math right now. <laughs> so we're just going to throw down a bunch. Uh, rails are pretty simple, luckily. Uh, it's just stone, steel, and iron sticks. We don't actually have raw stone anywhere on our quote-unquote bus, which is kind of non-existent. Um, it's over here. There's plenty more to be tapped. So I'm almost thinking we do need iron and steel for this, though. Of course, steel. We don't have any steel to begin with. <laughs> Um, I guess we'll just have to run a stone line down, because I'm sure we'll need it for other stuff. So let's find somewhere to squeeze these in. Um, I could put them over here-ish. Uh, I'll leave a little room for that to expand, but I'll just start this, like, right here. Um, so, rails. These give us two every half second, which is four per second. Um, here, which I'm going to do, I guess, just, like, two assemblers? Maybe? More than that. I know this math should be easy. For some reason, my brain is just, like, not comprehending <laughs> at all what's happening. Um, this is actually going to have to space out a bit more. One of these needs to be an input, because we have three inputs here. Uh, okay, so this guy goes here. Like that. Uh, like this. Okay, so which, what do we want to share here? It all takes one, so any of them could be anything, really. Um, we need to make the sticks as well. We could... This leaves room for one more set of expansion here. Um, and then we can just build more somewhere else if we need to. Dude, there's so many meteor strikes right now. I've had, like... I did. I only did, like, 15 minutes of off-camera work. And in that time, I had, like, four or five meteor strikes. It's pretty crazy. Um, we'll just do the sticks here. And what we'll do is output them here. Uh, which won't entirely work. Uh, let's actually do this a little differently. 
Let's see, so this comes this way. We need to, like, split stuff. Better. Uh, okay. Well, what we could do is have it be... Yeah. So what we can do is do something like this. Uh, we're actually out of undergrounds. I meant to pick some of those up. So this guy can be sticks and maybe something else. This is going to offset, which is going to drive me a little bit nuts, but <laughs> I guess that's just part of the spaghetti life, right? Uh, so output here. Um, I mean, this could just be a bell on its own. That's actually probably easier uh, in the grand scheme of things. Um, so this leaves no expansion room for this. It would if I did this a bit differently. Like that. Um, so this is going to be iron, is what this is supposed to be. And iron we have over here. Um, I'm still trying to figure out, like... So this belt... This belt actually doesn't get drawn off as much. This one gets drawn far more. Which is kind of a problem. And for some reason, this is, like, not getting ore all the way to the bottom. It's a little bit strange. Um, I guess we'll just continue pulling off this one, because this one ends, like, over there somewhere. And would just be nearly impossible to get over here. Um, so this guy kind of just ends like here-ish somewhere. I guess I'll just pull from this. Let's actually grab some undergrounds. It's going to be quite a few. To sneak this thing over. Um, but yeah, so we'll get those made. Uh, I'm still like slowly in the background trying to do this math in my head. And not succeeding. <laughs> um... Okay, well, okay, let, let, let me try this again. So, this is consuming base rate 30 rails every 21 seconds, and we're getting three packs, which is basically a pack a second, right? Um, 30 rails every 21 seconds is an average of... Now, I will need a calculator for this, because I can't do that type of math in my head. <laughs> um, that means that 21 divided by 30 is an average of 0.7 rails per second, or no, 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 I should do it the other way, it's backwards, duh, 30 divided by 21 is 1.4 rails a second, right, um, so 1.4 rails a second, and that would produce seven packs, or one pack every seven seconds, so if we take 1.4 and multiply it by 14, that should be about right. That's 20 rails, I think. 20 rails a second, is that right? It seems about right. That's a ton, dude. This is giving us 4, 8. We need, like, at least double this. There's no... <laughs> you know how expensive this is going to be? We need to expand things, like, a bajillion fold. This is actually nuts. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so, uh, let's get this iron over here first. Uh, this is actually, this works. Or not. Um, that works. Could have done red belt, but... Uh, so there goes that. Let's throw some power here. It's nowhere that's actually that convenient, so... Dude, these meteors, this is nuts. I kind of wish they, like, gave you more. Like, it's not really even worth my time to go get them. Um, okay, so we have the sticks being made. This one is not, because the iron hasn't quite reached there yet. Uh, and then steel, we're going to have absolutely nowhere near enough steel for this. Um, but we'll do the best we can. Grab that. Oh. Grab a bunch of those. Um, power poles, perhaps? Oh, did I never actually... Oh, right, I never... I never actually brought the steel over here because we like really have no steel to bring um, Steel is just so slow. I need to make these steel furnaces. That would automatically double our output um, so this thing uh, There's like so many splits here. I feel like I should try to do some sort of like one to four balancer doohickey or something That would Give me this in a much better manner I suppose we actually could. Could we do, like, a 
This thing's like a little bit too big, unfortunately. Could do like a four to four and then just send one line in and take four out. I think that'd work. The problem is this is like way too big, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Come on, bots, you can do it. Um, screw it. Yeah, we're gonna work on this for a minute. <laughs> um, this actually could stay here. Um, so this is gonna do some real wonky stuff because we need more room here, actually. Uh, because this is gonna be sending, basically we're gonna take this and send it in here. And then all these are gonna like curve back on themselves because this thing won't fit any other way. Uh, okay, so this guy goes like this. Theoretically, this should balance. I don't know that it actually will. Um, there was one missing somewhere. It was... It was this guy, right? Okay, so that guy goes there. <laughs> oh, man, well, this just added a bunch of, like, spaghetti-looking junk. I mean, this actually does look like... Legit spaghetti or something. Okay, so that goes there, and then this one comes over. Oh. And he's gonna go onto half of this. And stone needs to come onto the other half of this. And I know that we're not researching at the moment. Uh, I'm kind of trying to, like, preserve some resources. It's not actually worker robot speed we could get, I guess. Meteor Defense Installation. So this is like a better version, I think. Um, Adaptive Armor 2. Sure, why not? That looks cool. Take that. Uh, get this, like that. And then we need some long-handed guys here to export. And I guess we can, yeah, well, I don't actually think... Uh, I think we need two long-handed here means the power will work. Um, that's powered. That's not. Uh, okay, so we got steel. We got that. Now we just need to bring stone all the way down here. Um, this does seem to be balancing fairly decently. There's just not a ton of it, but... Oh, I should turn off these things. Uh, we just need to massively increase our steel production. I should, pro I should just, like, kind of AFK, um, like, like, grabbing steel. Um, off camera, and then just, uh, and then just make a bunch of steel furnaces. Needing all these bricks, man, what a pain. <laughs> okay, so this guy, I mean, this line is, like, backed up. We don't really need more here, even though two of them have run out, but I'll add some more. One of these is not hooked up, which you guys, I think, did mention. Um, that's not entirely what I want. Uh, and then this, that I want to leave room to expand for that. So what we're going to do is like pull this way. This is actually pretty stone hungry, these rails. Because these things crank, man. They take half a second. So that's going to be consuming stone pretty dang quick. Um, okay, so let's get this guy down. Uh, we could run it, probably, just next to this sulfur. I think it should be doable. Or not. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, this can go here without interfering. This guy, on the other hand... I think we will need an underground for this. Oh, holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna underground that. Uh, what we will do is underground that. There we go. Way easier, way cheaper. Dude, 40 gears for a red underground belt. That is absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna run out of these undergrounds, though. Um... I actually want him on the other side of this. Uh, 
Okay, so we have stone here. Unfortunately, I wanted to get modules done too. I'm not sure we're going to have time. Uh, routing this junk took way longer than I thought. Um, we actually want this lower. Could have done it earlier, but this works too. Um, where do we... Okay, yeah, we want this like way down there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so... I'm not entirely... I'm entirely sure how we're going to get past that. Uh, right. So, uh, we may actually need an underground belt, a red underground here. Let me grab a bunch of these gears. Because these have a reach of seven, which... Yeah, I think we need one. Um, because these could, this could go... Damn it. Uh, here? Nope. Um, can we do some shenanigans anywhere over here? Not really. Uh, we can do belt weaving if we need to. We can do stuff like this. Uh, we'd actually need another one for this. Thank God for being able to do this, though, right? Oh, and then... <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, okay, well... Now, I could... Well, that's the wrong direction. Um, I could merge onto this half, but the thing is, the steel's not always just going to be on this half. So I'm better off just doing it at this designated point. Oh my goodness, this is, like, ridiculous. Writing this stuff through here. I'm pretty sure I didn't need to do it this complicated, but I'm, I'm just, like, going the fastest way I can. Okay, so there's that. This should be pumping out rails now, which is good. He's going to come over. Um, and really, rails should probably just have their own belt. Uh, and these are not for science themselves. We actually need those for the furnaces. Uh, let me look at the time. Uh, yep, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end here, guys. Uh, but what we will do next time is we should be able to get everything set up. A lot of this was belt routing. Um, we should be able to get these modules made, wherever the heck they are. Um, these are very straightforward circuits and advanced circuits. Uh, so we could actually do these somewhere like over here-ish. Um, pull some advanced circuits off and green circuits, I don't know. Um, we'll find a place. Maybe need to do another build or something. I'll get that more set up though um, for next episode. I'll have more time to do off camera work. And then uh, the furnaces, I mean, these are super simple. These are pretty straightforward. It's just like multiple steps involved. And then this, we have everything except for the steel furnaces, which, you know, will be that process. Um, but we need to massively upgrade steel. So what I'm going to do um, is wonder why this is not getting stuff. Oh, because I forgot. Inserters again. You guys, you guys would have caught that, but luckily I'm catching it now. Um, so this needs to actually do something like that. Thank goodness for this longer reach. Um, it looks like this can actually insert quick enough, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, this steel is just... I mean, it's basically doubling the effectiveness if I can make all steel furnaces um, here. Which I can actually do a vast majority of them. Uh, and we're actually so short on brick rather than steel at this point. So I'm going to do that off camera. Maybe even add a whole other steel setup. And very, very soon... We will need trains um, to get more iron. Uh, we definitely need more iron for our main base section. This is almost tapped out and stuff. Um, and I'd like to place some more radars out and about to get even more coverage. What's our pollution? So we're going to hit this base soon. These soonish, those soon. So we'll have to do a little preemptive clearing. Luckily, there's not a ton of bases here. Um, so we haven't had to worry about biters for quite a while. And this... So this we could actually almost make with some batteries. Um, so this is actually placed in armor. So I'd have to make this first and then place this in it, I think. Oh, low densities. We're not there yet. <laughs> I want to see what these look like really quick. And then we're ending. I'm curious. Dude, that looks really freaking cool. I want to build that just because of how cool it looks. Is there like more levels of these? 
No, okay. Spaceship. Huh. Right, that's a ways away. But we're, we're getting there, guys. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm just, I'm having such a blast with this series. I'm loving it. Um, I wish I had even more time to play. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.